Alright, uh, Shalom Akim, want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakodash, that will answer the elders and apostles with great millstone and rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. Alright, uh, it's coming with another quick lesson through the Spirit, and as always, Lord, will it be edifying to the elect? Alright, so, um, I titled this one, uh, Be Continually Amongst Men of Understanding. You know, basically, the men that's in this truth. You know, the, the men that's built up in, uh, in the spirit and power, y'all, by Shem Yah Shah. You know, that has that, that, that uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right? That, that's uh, actually uh, walking in, in, in that, that, that upright manner. All right? So, uh, I'm going to jump right into it. This is uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiastes 27 and 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe thy time. You know, the indiscreet will be the unwise. You know, basically people that's that's uh outsiders, you know? The ones that's not uh running this race with you, you know, the ones that's totally consumed in in, in uh in, in wickedness, you know, not actually uh knowing how to walk, you know, not actually knowing how to walk, not being wise, you know. Basically, uh for 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 better lack of term, like niggas, you know, being amongst uh niggas, you know. They're not conducting themselves in a, in a righteous manner, you know, so it, it wouldn't be wise for you to, to be amongst them, you know. All all, all is going to come from it is basically you're going to be, uh, you, you're going to basically be enticed by their wickedness, you know, and eventually if you're not built up in the spirit, hey, you're going to fall to, to whatever uh, enticing uh, deeds that they bring forth and, and uh, basically, uh, you know, try to get you over with, you know. But, hey, that's how uh, Satan's work. But if you're amongst the men of the Lord, you're going to be continually uh, built up, you know? You're going to be continuously being built up in the spirit, you know? Hey, showing you the right way, how to conduct yourself, uh, how to do certain things, you know? And ultimately getting that that, uh, that, that great understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right? It says, but be continually among men of understanding. All right, so this is our job when we come into this thing, you know, being continually uh, amongst men of understanding, you know, start with our elder, elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, you know, even your brothers around you in, in this truth, you know, hey man, it's, it's always to be, uh, man, uh, amongst the brotherhood, you know, not uh, putting uh, off from day to day, you know, and when you go to that scripture in, in Apocrypha and it says putting out off day to day, from turning to the Lord, and you you also have to keep in mind that you can't put off from day to day with the brotherhood, you know, because that's is that that's where you're gonna uh, uh have that that wisdom, knowledge, understanding increase from, you know, being amongst the brothers, you know, what iron sharpened their iron, all right. And that's why when you look at the apostles, every time uh Yahweh Shah basically uh dipped off and he went into the wilderness, it was like hey hey where the Lord went, you know. Because they constantly wanted to be uh, amongst uh, that they, they, they good, that great understanding, you know. And ultimately, Yahweh Shai, hey, he, he was the, the one of those. Uh, he, he was the best example, you know. He, he showed them and led them and told them, "Hey, I'm building you up for for the times when I'm not gonna be around you." All right, going right back to uh, Philippians two and twelve, you know. Hey, not not only uh, in, in in the Lord's presence, but even so more in His absence, you know. Because when you're in the, when, when you're in the absence from uh, amongst the brothers, that's when it counts the the, the, the most. You know that's that's when it's going to be counted the most when you when you're not around brothers, and, and you know you, you have those temptations come your way. All right, but what you've already been built up because you're continually amongst men of great understanding. All right, this is Matthew seven and seven. It says, "Ask and it shall be given you." You know, and this is all you have to do is is actually how about Shemiah Shah to increase your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, but it starts with you putting forth the action. You know, because uh, uh, action, you know, hey, hey man, it's more than just a uh, uh, lip service. You know, you have to actually uh, show the Lord that you're you're gonna uh, that, that you you're able to be used. You know, if he if he implies this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding on you, you know, and ultimately you're gonna con uh, 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 pass. The, the wisdom that you get to, 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 to other brothers, you know, to wake, ultimately wake up the, uh, the flock, you know. So I told Peter, if you, if you love me, feed my sheep, you know, this is basically the whole duty of man, all right, not to just uh, get this wisdom and, and not pour it out, you know. It says, uh, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you, for everyone that asks it, receive it, you know. 
hey man, if you ask y'all about Shimmy Al-Shai for it, hey, it, it starts with believing and, and, and uh, put the forth the action, you know, and you, hey, the Lord is going to give it to you, you know, if you see that you, see, uh, you sincerely want it and diligently want it, it says, and he that seek it, find it, and to him that knock it, it shall be open. Or what man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, he will give him a stone, you know? If you asking the Heavenly Father uh, for, 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 for food, you know, and, and a spiritual food, will the Lord give you a, a stone and even physical, you know? Hell no, you know? A hey, man ain't going to give his son uh, uh, rocks to eat, you know? He ain't going to give you rocks or gravel to eat. He's going he gonna to give you food if you're hungry, you know? But And that's the point. You really got to be hungry for this truth, you know? It says, or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? You know, hey, no, hey, the Lord is is real uh, up front with you. You know, you ask the Lord for a certain thing, all right? Hey, he gonna give it to you. He ain't gonna give you nothing different from what you ask for. You know, you ask y'all about Shemuel Shah for a blessing. He ain't gonna uh, uh, send uh, the, the opposite of it. You know, it says if ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall the Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask of him? You know that ask him. Hey, the Lord, hey, trust me. Yeah, how about Shemuel Shai? It is a man of his word, you know? If you ask him of these things in truth and sincerity and put it forth the effort doing the work of Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, it's going to be given unto you, you know? It says uh, Acts 2 and 41. Then they they gladly received his word were baptized, meaning the word they were converted, you know? They were converted over because they received the truth, okay? It says, and the same day that were added unto them about 3,000 souls, you know, so they gained a hey, more brothers. It says, and they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking bread and, and breaking in bread and in prayers, you know, so they was what, breaking the truth down, you know, hey, hey this uh, iron sharpening iron, uh, hey, brother, let me get this precept, you know, making each other sharp, you know, bringing uh, lessons together, you know, the same thing that, that, that we're doing today. You know, and that goes to show you that we are the men of the Lord. You know, through the spirit of Paul, you have by Shimei You know, breaking bread a in season, out season. It says daily. You know, they're breaking bread daily with one another. It says, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together. You know, they were together. It says, and had all things in common, meaning they were in uh, unity. You know? They, they 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 was in unity and, and on one accord, you know. Hey, these men was on the hey man, these men was on one accord, you know, with each other. Linking up with brothers, always uh in the scriptures, you know, they just running it. You know, hastening. It says, and sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had. And they continually daily with one accord kind, with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. All right, they eat their meat with gladness. So hey, hey, they ain't took, they ain't took this, this 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 spiritual food with gladness, you know. You hey, they, like like the, hey, the brother just recently put up a video. You got a desire, you how about Shemuel Shah? You know, when you desire the Lord, you're gonna constantly be meditating on the things thereof. You know, you're gonna constantly be med meditating on the ways of your how about Shemuel Shah. How can you uh, improve yourself so that the Lord can use you? You know, that's what this thing is about. Because man, hey, they they elect has to get sealed uh, to, through the middle, you know, the, the middle Lord is it, it, going to be uh, responsible, you know, responsible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah for waking up his his men, you know, his other men that, that he wants to uh, to wake up, you know. But it starts with, with what? Coming into this truth, repenting, uh, and being amongst that the men with understanding, you know, so you can know how to conduct yourself in situations, how to uh, bring certain uh, uh, break scriptures down, you know. It says, and and singleness of heart, meaning what they had their eyes right on the truth, you know. This was their their, their only uh that their only thing that they was focused on, you know, just on this hundred percent truth and, and doctrine that we have. It says, praise the Most High and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. 
You know, because where it started with these men being on one accord and being amongst each other. You know, and the Lord is going, hey man, the Lord is going to uh, bless each individual in, in, in every camp. You know what I'm saying? Every camp that that's that's uh in, 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 that's coming in that same volume of His Spirit. You know, doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It's Baruch 3 and 14. It says, learn where wisdom is. All right? Where strength, where is understanding, that thou mayest know also where the length of days is and life. Where is the light of the eyes and peace. All right? So you're supposed to learn where, where these things, who, who, who's, where, where, where does all these, uh, did this wisdom lie within, you know? And, and who does this wisdom lie within? All right? Because... Wisdom isn't just given to, to everyone, you know, that the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yashai isn't, you know. It says, who have found out her place or who have come into her treasures. And it is known that Yahweh Bashim Yashai have given this to certain men. You know, the Lord has set up a, a storehouses, so to say, you know. Going right back to, to the book of Psalms, the Lord set up storehouses to where he's going to put these deep, dark sands in certain men, you know. Right back to the uh, the book of Jeremiah, it tells you that the Lord is going to give you pastors according to my, to his own heart, you know? This is Psalms 19 and 11, moreover, by them thy servant is warned, all right? And it was speaking of the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, because if, if you go out and, and break the law, you're going to receive judgment for that, you know, especially a, 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 because this, this thing starts when you come, when, when, you, uh, when your eyes have been lightened, you know, when you wake up to this truth. All right, it says, in keeping and the and in keeping of them, there's a great reward. All right, who can understand his errors? Who can understand his errors before uh, not knowing where that wisdom lies or not knowing the, the uh, commandments of Yahweh Bashim No man, you know, that's why it, it's going to take a man of the Lord to, to show you these things and give you that understanding. All right, and that's why you should be amongst me. All right, because. Uh, man, a, a lot of people fall out of this thing thinking that they're actually built up when they've never been broken down fully. You know, you have to be, uh, that, 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 that house, you know, I'm speaking in it, the, the parabolic form that, uh, that the Lord uh, spoke in, uh, because we are the temples of Yahweh Hashim you know. So that house had all those demons in it, and you can't just start building on top of it and saying, I'm going to put the Lord up here. Like, no, you have to start from the uh, from the bottom on up, you know, so that old house has to be uh, all the way broken down, you know. And men actually think that they, they come into this thing and think that they uh, get to a, a certain level and understand certain uh, precepts, you know, and actually just think that they got it off. And eventually they fall out because they have never been broken down all the way, you know. But they being amongst men of great understanding, you're going to receive these things if you are the sheep of Yahweh Hashim Yashah. All right, it says, cleanse thou me from secret faults. And when you're amongst uh, men, you're amongst the, the, the men of understanding, you're going to ask Yahweh Hashim Yashah that, you know. Cleanse me from secret faults, things that we don't even know that we're going off on, you know. Because your, your average Jake is not going to be asking the Lord uh, to, to uh, cleanse them from secret faults. You know, they're not even uh, truly repenting. All right. Because what the men of the Lord, uh, the, the men that actually had this understanding, they, we, you know, we tried to uh, uh, call out to them, you know, through the Spirit. Well, actually, the Lord did. You know, he didn't hear you, hear me. You know, but what? They, they refused it. All right? But if you actually... Uh, 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 partakers of the sufferings of Yahweh Bashim Yashah, you in this thing, hey man, you should count it all joy, you know, because hey, everyone doesn't get a chance to go out and, and become a living sacrifice for the Lord, you know, and ultimately give up sacrifices for Yahweh Bashim Yashah to be counted worthy as being one of those uh, uh, good servants, you know. This is Sirach 6 and 34 it says, Stand thou in the multitude of elders and cleave unto him that is wise. All right, cleave unto him that is wise, you know, because he's uh, going to uh, show you that lead you on the right path, you know. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Be willing to hear every godly, godly discourse, you know. It says, and, and let the parables of understanding escape thee. And let not Salaki, and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. Because soon as you let these that this wisdom not to understand it depart from you and you start leaning upon your own understanding, now you're a bug out. You know, now you're not walking that righteous path. And your path it is going many different diverse ways. And it's not uh gonna lead up to where you first was going to, you know. 
It says, If thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be, be times unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. You know, hey, you're supposed to be continually uh, uh, at, 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 at their house. You know, getting that wisdom, not to understanding, so that you can be built up more in the spirit. All right? It says, Let thy mind be open. So, like, let thy mind be upon the ordinances, the order of your Bashim Yashai, and meditate continually in his commandments. And this is, it, it, man, this is the, 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 the mindset of, of the men of the Lord, you know? All day, every day, you know? Uh, of course, yeah, we, we, are, uh, we are men in this thing, and we have uh, other things to, to do throughout the day, but, hey, man, for the most part, not for the most part, all, all the time, even when we're doing the things that, that we have to take care of daily, our mind is still on you, how about shim outside, you know, and that's how... Uh, we govern ourselves by by the scriptures, all right? Hey, what's what's the right things to do? What's the wrong thing to do? All right, not lean upon our own understanding and going how we want to go about things. You know, it says, "He shall establish thine heart." Hey, how about Shemel Shah is going to establish thy mind? You know, it says, "And give thee wisdom at thine own desire." All right, but it starts with you to be continually amongst those men, so you can be built up. Once you build up, the Lord is like, hey man, hey, mom, this is my service. You know I'm dealing with him. Hey, now, hey, he can go out. Hey, like the, uh, the scripture tell you, hey, train up a child so that he can go. You know, because we ultimately have to come into this thing as, as babies. You know, and then, hey, from, from we go through those different stages, and you're gonna uh, continuously be learning. You know, no, no matter how how long you've been in this thing, you're gonna continuously be you're gonna continually be learning. You know. No matter what, you're always going to be learning. It says, uh, kind of, he will give wisdom at thine own desire. It's First Peter 5 and 2, it says, feed the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, which is among you. All right? And this is ultimately a, our job, to feed the flock. Okay? Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. So we're supposed to willingly want to do it. We're supposed to desire to feed the flock of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. It says, not for filthy lucre, no, not, not for money's sake or, or gain's sake, you know, or, or, or vain vain uh, uh, vain glory. It says, but but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over the Most High's heritage, all right, over the Most High's nation, the Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. It says, but being in samples of the flock, and that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to uh, uh, lead, you know, we're supposed to be leaders and, and show brothers exactly how to uh, conduct themselves, you know. Basically, to not keep them in that, in that same nigga mentality, uh, nigga that just know scriptures, you know. No, hey, that the whole old man has to be uh, broken down and, and buried, you know. Then you shall live through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. It says. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, Yahweh Shah, you shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. You know, we're going to get those uh, incorruptible crowns. All right? And ultimately, we're going to get that salvation. You know? It says, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. It says, yea, all of you be subject to one another. You know? Because you, you're not supposed to just come into this thing and, and be in there a couple weeks and think that you know more than, than the person... That the, the Lord used to wake you up, you know. Hey man, <laughs> Jake is basically consumed in pride, and if you have pride, man, this truth, this truth ain't for you. All right, and if it is, and you have pride, hey, the Lord gonna get it out. You know, trust me, the Lord gonna get it about you. All right. It says, uh, likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject to one another. All right, because what? Hey, we brothers. At, at the end of the day, you know, we all brothers at the end of the day, and we all working for, for that same crown, you know, that, that same penny, like the uh, scriptures like to say, all right? It says, and be clothed with humility, you know, being humble. You know, hey, this truth, hey, in this truth, you have to be humble, you know? And the Lord hates that, that uh, having you having a proud, uh, a proud spirit on you, you know? It says, in the most kind, and I, <laughs> it says, the most high resisted the proud. And give it grace to the humble, you know, because the Lord ultimately deals with with the uh, with, with the lowly, you know. 
It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. So if you're doing what you're supposed to do, feeding the flock, your by Shem Yashai, being amongst the men of understanding and, and obtaining this wisdom, knowledge, and, and uh, understanding, all right? And the Lord is going to uh, exalt you in due time, you know? You're going to be risen up. It says, casting all your, your care upon him, for he cared for you, you know? The Lord only... Uh, care for, for uh, cares about certain men, you know, and he cared for you if, he, if the Lord brought you into the truth and actually gave you uh, for putting men around you that, that has this knowledge, you know, that that has that, that great wisdom to, to feed you with it, you know, so you're supposed to take it, uh, soak it up so that you can feed other brothers, you know. But with that, Lord willing, this uh, quick lesson was edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushua, by Shem Rekaku Dash, double lines to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone to rule well, and much peace, safety, and blessings to the hopefully elect throughout the four winds, pushing this truth and sincerity and diligence. Shalom.